I'm gonna make another hair video because I just do my hair and the only difference is it got cold. The only difference, but what I really want to like exaggerate in my hair ratings is leave what doesn't resonate with you and like accept the messages that do. Like, I just don't get like, even I've heard the craziest hair readers say some out of pocket shit, but it's a collective reading. I just came upon their channel, you know? So kind of acknowledge you have to take everything with your own critical thinking skills. All right. So please apply that to yourself and your life. Um, overall, like, it's a little bit sad seeing lately how like a lot of relationships have transpired or literally have ended. Not in terms on my part, but in terms of like seeing these terror readings outcomes and like how people have told me the aftermath of these situations. But all I want to say is in terms of Karma is an equal balance of give and take and acceptance and accountability. You cannot accept that because it's just crazy seeing this um, generation of people just... It, if we could literally label our generation in social media, it's hurt people hurt people. And I think we see that revolving around and circulating in these cycles within the past couple of years. Even today. Probably not going to stop anytime soon. What I do want to go ahead and also make out a message to be is acknowledging how not to rely on these tarot readings all the time. Go ahead and acknowledge that you yourself are your own conscience person and you have to apply your logic as well as communicating. Talk to your person. Ask them what they're feeling. Ask them how, like, for reassurance. And if you can't trust that person, maybe that's another person you should really keep around or really have your mind around them 24-7, you know? What else? It's just really fucking shameful to, like, even see some of this shit, including what people have gone through with their own family members, friends, coworkers, and all that. So, you know, I just hope everyone finds peace at this point because it isn't gonna be by hurting another person and then involving yourself in a cycle back and forth. Who's the victim? Who's the abuser? Move on, move on. You gotta heal, right? Um, what else do I have to say and mention? Kind of acknowledge that not everybody is gonna be your person or a carbon copy of you. So you can't take everyone with quite the distaste of life, including interactions because they're not your personal jester, your entertainer. Like I've talked to certain people who think I'm completely boring all because I'll choose to be in my own energy and not entertain a conversation with them. No, I'm just not an ass kisser. I'm just not gonna kiss your ass and be like, oh my God, this and that. Like, if you wanna have a conversation with me, we'll have a conversation. If you need somebody to entertain you while having a conversation, just say you're autistic just say you're autistic i'm not even joking so kind of acknowledging how don't always rely on tarot for the answer i get it if you need clarity reassurance or anything of the sort of an understanding of your situation but never let it completely eat you up whole all right at the end of the day i've been dealing with situations for the past three months already so i can guarantee you it's just more out of the understanding of life that a lot of people that feel as if they can abuse you will abuse you that's not going to be a second thought of oh my god maybe she's they will abuse you you know how whenever you hear someone be like well i thought you were this i thought you're that that's just their little victim checklist all right so if you're not hearing the red flags i don't know what to tell you anyways we are going to get into this reading and we're going to have two piles so go ahead and focus on one or two and whatever you feel called to also, if it doesn't resonate, don't wear it Cinderella. So in terms of being like, if you got that bitch on your Instagram page or trying to fuck with you or being like, oh my God, is this about me? Knowing damn well it isn't about her. It is. She is just one of those people that you are applying pressure to and you just weeded out a cockroach. You know how when you spray an entire like little corner and then you see the infestation, that's who this person is. So be wary of them including how they try to hurt you or attack you or personally make you feel because we've been seeing this um another cycle of 
you some of y'all are gonna be the stupidest bitches and i don't think you have any male friends around you i genuinely don't think otherwise then you also want any validation from those male friends so in reality you're gonna be in the cycle of being abused and then and then developing some type of personality that has never applied to your life ever um but kind of acknowledging how you know we see the cycle of men breaking up with women and then convincing women to stalk their ex and him should talk her and then they'll both should talk her and her thinking she got a safe place <laughs> a stupid ass bitch stupid ass dumb bitches and all i gotta tell you is anyone going through that whether you're a man who's going through that with his ex or a woman going through that with her ex you won you are winning you got a good thing going so don't fuck that shit up right just acknowledge that however people choose to stalk you or really be into your life like that is really yeah you're their favorite netflix special you're their favorite star or celebrity accept it you're their favorite youtuber tiktoker whatever you want to consider it you're their favorite and that's what i'm saying they're obsessed with you because you know just like a great tarot reader referenced in terms of the craft robin and the definition of obsession it's just like if you really view the relationship of what she like manifested for herself it was literally that of delusional and crazy and him almost trying to kill her so kind of acknowledge how you wanting someone who's obsessed with you is you actually manifesting somebody who wants to kill you he's <laughs> actually but some of you bitches are going to take it like that because in reality you are like the fake analogy of jennifer's body you just are needy so you need somebody who's needy the real analogy of jennifer's body was a woman who got raped and um everyone brushing it off and society treating um it's honestly it reminds me of jinjo ito's tomie it's just like just because she's beautiful it's as if like she deserved that but in reality she was a case it's really sad to see america today and honestly with all these cops um and situations and cases going down i just hope that you actually get somebody who protects you rather than 911. Just saying. All right, let's go ahead and get into the readings, by the way. So remember, one and two. And if these readings resonate, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I don't come on here as much as I would like to, unfortunately. I had made videos on TikTok, I do live shuffles, and I guess I got some hating ass bitch that can't do live shuffles or shit and has to just pull out cards up her eyes and make up a story. But for me personally, I like pulling from the energy and also having my cards literally back that up. So I'm not even fucking around. Like, search out the definitions, I don't give a fuck. Um, but kind of acknowledging, do your thing and love who you are as a person because it's not gonna be in the comfortability of somebody else's life. Like, it's really sad to see so many people put themselves in the perception of other people and being like, oh, I want that. I want this partner. Also, women, ladies, stop lying. Because this is what's causing this fucking uproar of like bitches being like, oh, all the good men are taken. No, all the good women are taken. All the good women are taken. That man saw her having a financial stability, fucking good credit score, that of a great job, su like superficial looks, like let's apply her relationships for what they are and that of his own ego and masculinity and how it made it like how she made him feel standing next to her so in reality he got a good woman let's stop fucking lying because some of these bitches be paying for themselves and then y'all being like oh my god the reason why she's so good to go there or go there that place because no she took herself there she took herself there but you can't fathom that because you can't even go get fucking lunch by yourself imagine that Imagine shitting on bitches because you can't eat by yourself. Y'all never been on a 30? Nah, for real. Like, y'all never been on a 30? Y'all never just like, oh my god, I go get something quick. Might as well eat here. Loser ass bitches, bro. But yeah. Um, otherwise than that, find comfortability in who you are as a person and not within someone else's life. You will never be that person. You will never have the biological parents of that person. You could try your best to force mate hell. Maybe even go crazy and fucking do whatever you feel like you need to do within your plan. We all know how many women have actually completed that. Police departments can actually bag me up with those. <laughs> but, at least, but kind of acknowledging how a woman will go ahead and try to take your personality or looks or your physique just to be you. And it's sad because in reality, this is the highlight of your life. So just realize in terms of actually being yourself, it's better to go ahead and be safe than sorry. 
block, silence, do not disturb. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into these readings. So we'll have pile number one and pile number two. Spirit got my eyes good, including ancestors in my eyes good. Go ahead and travel to the higher ground that let's not physically travel to, but you may. Seek out the truth and only the truth and let us know what we need to know today. I also have really bad allergies, so if y'all don't see me pause this video because I'm making it on my phone, I don't know what to tell you. Pile number one, what is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? So this could be um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your life because you remember how I said behind every good man is a fucking good woman. So all I gotta say is this person's karma, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your life. They could be a woman of masculine energy, a man with, um, you know, feminine energy, but just kind of acknowledge um, whoever this was, their karma is... This person could kind of emotionally invest into other people. I don't know whether this is a lover, a family member of yours. Um, hell, I have two cheating brothers who cheat on their significant others like crazy. But do am I really mad? Because it was also on the sister who normalized it, like my shiftly kind of sexually abusing me and said, I take shit too seriously. So, you know, karma does come back in its own ways. Like... You may think by you doing that shit made my life fall apart, but reality, you got married, had babies, and got cheated on. Imagine that. Imagine that, actually. Imagine you thinking you're better than me, and you settled. Imagine that. That's why I always laugh. Like, sometimes karma is like that of like an equal balance of give and take. So if somebody feels as if they've taken from you and you're like, oh, I'm all free because i'm on the top and i finally have all these things oh they about to get a rude awakening whether that's somebody around them or their own significant other it always happens but whoever this is emotionally um they like micro cheat or emotionally um invest in other people like romantically so whoever this is they could have been emotionally cheating on you if they if this is a partner or more so in the sense of this person is karma is going to have to fight so a lot of people are coming up to them with accusations arguments confrontations um outbursts and this person isn't handling it very well i don't know whether they're not a confrontational person and i love those people if you ever hear i'm not a non-confrontational person that person's a bitch that person is a straight up bitch i remember um let me tell you a story. Why not? We I haven't been on here a while. I haven't had a live. I haven't talked to my audience. Why not share some personal shit? I remember one time I had a friend, right? She was, this was in like way back in the day. And um, she called me like clingy to my friends. And then she's like, oh my God, I just don't. And we are like best friends. Like she would even tell people like we're best friends. And then she's like, oh my God, I don't like hanging out as much because she acts clingy. So honestly, me being a mature person in the situation, I didn't take it too personal. I wasn't going to be like, Fuck that bitch. You know what? She's the. I wasn't gonna throw slight petty insults out of my own insecurity and hurt ego. There was no pain there. There was an acknowledgement, being like, okay, if I'm too clingy, then I'll just go ahead and like not hang out with her for a while. I started hanging out with my friend Michael and Jimmy, and then I remember we went to go over to Michael's house to go ahead and do a group project. Straight up, you want to know what that bitch says to me as soon as I get to the football court, and the football field? Sorry. She was just like, "You're fake." <laughs> she was like you're really fake because you chose to hang out with michael and jimmy and you didn't even want to hang out with me like i was here doing nothing bitch didn't you call me clingy bitch didn't you call me fucking clingy and now you're mad because i'm hanging out with my friends now you're now you're just mad because i'm hanging out with my friends that don't talk shit about me like you know like that's crazy to me so that's all I gotta say in terms of, like, if you're ever dealing with a person like that, like, confront their ass. Just be like, no, because I remember coming up to her, because then she she said I was fake, and then I, I blew up. I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? I was just like... <laughs> so in reality, just literally do your own thing. And if your friend starts acting up or starts switching up, start doing your own thing. I don't give a fuck. No, because it's your life too. The fuck? So yeah. 
With the King of Cups and the Seven of um, Wands here, this person is trying to start an argument with you or literally people are starting arguments with them. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your life, whether that is a man or a woman, but I definitely feel like this person is going to have to be in defense mode over like what they did to you or what they said about you. Like this person's really playing a fucked up part in this and um, I think they know that. Yeah, this person could be involved with the Queen of Pentacles, so this could be involved with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person could be starting arguments with them, so I don't know if somebody is pregnant here or somebody did have a baby. But what I definitely see here is just the acknowledgement of, like, this person isn't wanting to really give to this person, you know? they This person wants them to give, but this person isn't giving, so unfortunately I think, um... You could be dealing with a couple here. This actually could be a married couple. This could be a person who is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio man, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn woman. But this person, like, they could try to, try to steal your foundation in order to build a foundation for themselves, to be honest. And they think they could easily take advantage of you because of how people felt as if they could take advantage of you. Yeah, what I am seeing here is this person's going to get beat the fuck up. Yeah, seven of wands with them and nine of wands confirmation. This person's going to get beat the fuck up. They're going to probably get... Um, I feel like maybe this person's family might come after them. Their friends might come after them. But they're going to most definitely get in some type of physical altercation that they want to get in here. With the six of um, swords, I definitely feel like you are dealing with somebody who does have a child in this situation or did have a child in this situation. And their karma is going to have to be leaving you the fuck alone. I definitely feel like you warned these people to stay away from you or leave you alone. You may have blocked them. These people did not listen because these people were in their own mental illness of being obsessed with you. So definitely what I see here is just like they were obsessed with being you and having whatever you had. Unfortunately, you know, I made this example because my homie is dealing with a crack pack girl. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. If you deal with a crack pack, like, that is a different ball game, y'all. That is a different ball game of hell. Uh, but kind of acknowledging how, you know, what I do see for this person is just, like, them having to be forced to move away from you or literally move away from the drama that they've created. So, honestly, their exposure, what they've done, is going to clear this rumor, drama, or this lie up. There's something definitely held over your head, whether this was by this couple coming together to do this to you, or more so in the sense of um, one influencing the other, but I definitely feel like a domino effect's gonna happen here. Once one falls, the rest of them fall with it. So, you're gonna get that justice. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get that justice, all right? Um... Definitely what I see here for the Chariot and the Ace of Cups is you have a lover that is willing or wanting to give and reciprocate to you. This could be somebody who is your current partner right now. It could be a Cancer man in your life or a Scorpio. This is a high level water placement, especially Pisces, but this man is unconditionally in love with you. So in reality, this person loves you for the inside and out of who you are. This could be a family or a friend, but this is somebody that wants to um, express some emotional vulnerability to you because of how much you've been there for them. So, you know, if you've helped this person through a tough time, like, they have not forgotten it for a single second here. Like I said, they could be a heavy water sign. Um, it could be just someone in general that's really well balanced in their life. And they know that you're well balanced in your life. And that's why they've become infatuated with you. This person, like, has really, like... You know when somebody says they have their morals and values to them, like this is the person that actually means it rather than what they're speaking out. They're trying to find their person. They're not trying to like fuck around in this energy with the chariot being here. So yeah, with justice being here, I definitely feel like you've been in some cycle with these people. Whether this is a man or a woman affecting your life, apply the energies as it is. It doesn't have to be these exact zodiac signs, but these are what's coming through in terms of like the main staples and of like the men and women in these cards i know how some people feel about gender so you know i'm trying to be considerate with that too so with the two of pentacles being here this person could have been juggling you because they were financially and emotionally unstable that's why i say like men that you're dealing with mentally ill people so this person found it okay to go ahead and evolve you in this like sick lie or more so in the sense of just a over obsessively like stalking you like this person could have made you lose your job 
or could have like spread a rumor about you because they were afraid of losing theirs or being caught so whoever this is they're really projecting onto you because yeah you're gonna find peace you know it's all about equal give and take and whatever you didn't get back you will be given and i definitely feel like despite this being a journey like there is some type of outcome to this in terms of like coming to the realization that you know your person is not that far away from you and kind of acknowledging that in the meantime give that love to yourself you know you have to heal so you don't go ahead and allow it to affect your relationships or how you even view your partner a lot of people forget that shit and it's not my job to remind them it's a tarot video not a therapy session with the tarot video also if you would like a specific topic please donate to the channel and let me know what topic you in specific would like um so i honestly have like specific cards for these topics so i can't wait to see how that goes yeah, so whoever this is, they could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius stalking you or watching you. But definitely with the Nine of Swords I see here, it's just like this person, they've already been confronted or faced some type of um, altercation with somebody else. So yes, I don't know whether this was with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who wasn't afraid of doing this to them. But most definitely this person was faced with some kind of truth or acknowledgement of the situation. I definitely feel like the general karma for this person is having to leave you alone. I definitely feel like these are people that really try to bring down your reputation um who you were it's just like a smear campaign and all because they were in the level of survival maybe their wife was pregnant maybe they were afraid of losing their job maybe this and that and instead of actually being there and acknowledging you as a person in this situation they just thought you'd be fine but in reality this person was unexceptionally cruel towards you and honestly you should get an ass beating <clears throat> honestly you should get an ass beating yeah so death is coming in for this situation so definitely what i see here is this is the final end to the cycle like i definitely feel like you've been on a continuous loop whether this is an ex of yours and their new person or more so in the sense of a couple or people you're dealing with in the workplace but what i am seeing here is unfortunately these people were out of a means of survival and this is what i was like saying in, in reference to the crack pack and like my homie talking about this crackhead girl i mean an example being like you know Y'all are like the equivalent of going to a liquor store and feeling as if you don't have to pay for anything because if you just steal and nobody catches you, it's free, right? You, you don't get caught, you feel good. It's like the equivalent of the thread of the girl who made like on TikTok stealing your best friend's boyfriend. That bitch is evil. But honestly, I just saw who she was trying to affect and I know that girl personally. So I gotta say what comes around goes around. Stop trusting these bitches. Stop trusting these bitches for real. <sighs> so yeah with death being here i definitely see someone in their family is going to pass away as a result of this so you may hear news that whether their grandpa has passed away their grandma um an aunt or an uncle um all of a sudden but i definitely feel like you'll hear news of like disaster in terms of a loss of a loved one maybe this could even be their own child in this specific situation because of how these people are operating like out of survival yeah, so with the Eight of Wands being here and the the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom, I definitely feel like you are going to get communication about this, or you already have. So this is just confirmation that the Eight of Wands, there there will be some type of communication you will have from this person, you will hear back. Um, what I definitely see here with the Wheel of Fortune is like you felt like you were in your bad karma for so long dealing with these people, as if you were so deserving of it. But in reality, these were people putting themselves in front of you. So no, you're not and stop fucking thinking that every trial and tribulation is something that's deserved or karma in reality that's probably a bitch that set you up to be in a place and then laugh at you and then that's why these situations happen in terms of like what i reference as my like sister like sometimes you have to get it all you have to allow a person to feel as if they won over you and get it all to really show how much you play stupid fucking games you win stupid fucking prizes you play stupid ass games you win stupid ass prizes yeah, this person is going to be in heartbreak over you. This person may have actually fallen in love with you while also you being with your person, by the way. I, I think some of you are getting commitments watching this. So I definitely think your person is outside of this. But yeah, we have five of pentacles again. This person may be abandoned by their lover or these are simply people who 
are acting like fucking hobosexuals or homeless people or you're like the homeless shelter and you ain't so kind of acknowledging like this person will most likely be abandoned by their significant other but more in the sense of left out of cold of your life like there's a certain level of like warmth you bring to people like think about when you see your best friend walking in the same workspace as you and you're like well yo what the fuck is up you know and then like or like how's it going but like more so in the sense of like that's how this person feels whenever they see you there's like an emotion of happiness and admiration they have for you that when you cut them out all they feel is this coldness Yeah, this person's a fucking devil. They're trying to fucking attract you in some type of weird shit, but they're really being misled by drug substance abuse or some type of mental illness that's really causing them to do these these things towards you, unfortunately. So just go ahead and acknowledge that despite whatever this person is coming at you with any level of toxicity, you are not deserving of it. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all. Um, but yeah, with the world being here, you're beautiful. Like, you are obviously a woman or a mask, like, a feminine man watching this. A feminine man is really code for a man that is emotionally intelligent. How about that? Like, seriously. So that means you, you can acknowledge a woman's feelings. Like, you know, if a woman is visibly upset after something you did, you're able to check in, come to a resolution, and then clock out of the conversation. Some of y'all don't know how to do that because in reality, you have the social skills of what you have on Xbox Live. And I guarantee you, your homie still got shot at the coordinates you told them to meet you at. So I don't trust y'all. So I don't trust y'all for shit. All right. But kind of acknowledging with the world being here, you are like this beautiful, magnifying woman. And you have this magnetic attraction that really brings everyone in, in terms of like looking at you and kind of like, unfortunately, when some people aren't, don't have access to you, whether that's verbally, physically, emotionally, resentment kicks in, in terms of being like, well, you just think you're all that, huh? You just think you, you could just walk around here and not talk. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel bad for any man who's also experienced that. Like, y'all are weird. Like, y'all are weird. Like, respect other people's privacy and realize that what they decide to do within their own time and themselves, unless you act in, like, Breaking Bad, then that could be talked about. I don't know. I don't think a person's a bad person for talking about that. But the world being here, just acknowledge, like, you have a lot of, like, options in your life and people could see that. So don't allow anyone to limit your vision to what you limited your vision with in terms of instead of knowing who you are and being your energy and being like in your inner goddess or god um in terms of like loving yourself dancing singing um creating um uplifting like unfortunately like you're left to go ahead and see yourself as a crab in a barrel mindset like you cannot see anything surpassed what you feel so kind of acknowledging unfortunately like you need to get out of that mindset and be more in the energy of who you are and what you embody truly clarify the devil please clarify the devil the high priestess you see right through this person so this is kind of clarifying these like past readings i've been giving on tiktok but these two cards have been coming out together so that's why they don't like you because you know when you're with your person you could you and your person are really strong together like i don't know whether this is a man watching this or a woman watching this but whoever your person is is your person right now i'm not even lying to you but kind of acknowledging with the high priestess being here is like your significant other or this person can see right through this bullshit that's why they're not afraid to, like or maybe you might not be afraid to speak up but most definitely there's like some type of documentation here and it's kind of like waiting for your perfect moment to strike you know with some type of information served bitch if we all know that one yeah definitely what i'm seeing here is the moon this person holds a lot of secrets and like i said um they could have been like an emotional cheater in order to provide for their significant other because what i am seeing here is with the knight of cups is like this person gives their love or their emotions to everyone and it's kind of like putting all you know how they say you put all your eggs in one basket so you don't lose them? This is this person, so they keep their supply, whether that's a need of finances, emotion, or sex. So in reality, whoever they're with right now, this person isn't even being loyal to them while your partner is being loyal to you. So be aware how these people affect you because their life is a wreckage. 
um with the knight of cups being here definitely this person has managed to go ahead and try to emotionally seduce other people by the vulnerability of their, their emotions but you know i definitely feel like they don't they this person wants to bring you down because you're the high priestess they don't like that shit they don't like what you're talking about they don't like how it resonates they don't like how the people you called out are the same feelings that they've harbored against you so like this person does not like you not whatsoever because you're the high priestess you could see things that aren't really keen to the normal eye of illusion and huh nah because like when you walk into a workplace and you see how fucked up it is you're like nah this has gotta be a joke <laughs> you're like this y'all gotta be fucking around with me for real you know Yep, you have the seven of, I mean, the eight of pentacles. So kind of acknowledging how this person works hard is really how they fail. How this person really works hard with like the seven of pentacles in terms of planning and doing this stuff to you is really their failure. So as much as like they feel good for like planning and going against you, it's just like really they look, they acknowledge how stupid they look themselves. Yep, and we have the same card coming out. So this is what I was looking for, like um the seven of pentacles. So I'm glad I found it. Um, but yeah, kind of acknowledging whoever this person is, um, they're gonna harbor a lot of hardships in their life because of what they did to you. Yeah, this was like a person who really was like led by their... Instead of just being a man, doing what it is, they shorted themselves with a lot of things that didn't really apply to their life or wasn't beneficial. And you're gonna be seen on top while they're seen as a two-faced, faker, innocent liar. Whatever they did to try to destroy you is just temporary because who you are is long term. And nobody can take that shit away. Who you are is fucking long term, bitch. Alright. We're gonna get some additional cards and then we're gonna go on to pile number two. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm supposed to only do like a quick two minute reading. <laughs> like. You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice and just don't use it for dumb shit. What is the collective message you have for Pound Number One, please? Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? And also ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a goddamn professional. And we're gonna do one more and then the last oracle card. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. That's what I'm saying. Block repeat do not disturb and silence silence anything else the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits and soul tribe so you're definitely dealing with more than one fucking person because it's showing oh god <laughs> yeah so you have warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling and the great gathering so i definitely feel like these people try to go against you or these are a group of people who decided to go against you in terms of breaking off in their group to do this to you in order to hurt you so what i damn i'm seeing here is just like more so in the sense of the karma of these people is really being exposed for the cult like visions that they carry instead of you you know you cut through to the bullshit and that's why people don't like you like you know with the high priestess energy saying things clearly and communicating clearly like you like your presence is that of a weapon your words are that of a weapon and people know that like you know So it's just like you're not afraid to go against these people but you also need to acknowledge that you also need to be supported and you need to rest when you do
Yeah, definitely what I'm seeing here is like secrets be exposed about these people who are stalking you with the Page of Swords being here. These people could have been watching you on the internet. Um, digital footprint may expose them, but also acknowledging how this person ha was obsessed with you. And unfortunately, they decided to go do this to you, unfortunately, because of like what you had and what they didn't. Comparison is the thief of joy, bitch, and you'll still never be the bitch you're trying to be. I've said this once and I'll say it again. You need help. All right, that is your reading pile number one. If it really resonated, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I'm really sorry if some of you are personally dealing with that. Like me personally, the only advice I could really offer you in that situation is an acknowledgement of what you went through and why these people did what they did, but kind of the rest is falls on you, whether you want to block them, silence, do not disturb, move on with your life. It isn't going to be that of finding sanctuary in a broken home. All right. You are not going to find sanctuary in something that's already dead, broken, or a broken home. You're not. You're not. So remember, stop talking, shut your mouth, and fucking listen. Alright, pile number two. Let's get on to it. So, spirit guide of my highest good. Give me answers. Good. Go ahead and travel through the higher ashrams, which I cannot physically travel to, but you may. Seek out the truth and only the truth and the truth that you need to know in regards to today's reading. What is Pile 2's collective reading for their karma for hurting? Pile number one, that could have even been your parents, but more in specific, like you know how to apply that to your life. Because certain situations and storylines, like when it comes to like people, it's just like, uh, I'm not really feeling that's your person, but it's somebody who's like emotionally attached to you, for real. Like, you're not, you don't care about this person, but this person cares about you. Like, it's, you know, it gave me that example of, like, that Spider-Man. You remember when Spider-Man had a fan? And then, like, his fan was just like, oh my god, this and that. So it's just, like, more so in the sense of, like, the aftermath of that. Pile number two, what is this person's karma for her to you? Oh, we still have the same cards coming out. So, honestly, I'm not going to do this one, but for you, I think pile number two, you could probably watch pile number one if this resonated, but your person is going to get impregnated or fucked over by a fuckboy. There you go. That's it. That is their karma. They're going to get fucked over by the person they give their full loyalty to. Alright, so pile number two, what is their karma for hurting you? Ten of Cups. This person's gonna see you happy. Their karma of hurting you is seeing you happy, seeing you win. However, this person thought they had the upper hand with the magician energy of gaslighting you or manipulating you in any type of way, because the magician card is gaslighting. So yes, if you are watching this, you've probably been gaslighted once or twice by this person in terms of situations that you've seen with your own eyes or you experienced or what you felt the intention was. So whoever this is, they clearly thought that having power over you or doing this to you would break you. They wanted to hurt you or put you in a place where you would fully rely on them. And I feel like their karma is going to be seeing that in reality, you're going to get it all. With the Ten of Cups here. You're, if this person didn't want you to be married, you're going to get married. If this person didn't want you to have kids, you're going to have kids. If this person didn't want you to be married to anybody except them, you're going to be married to somebody else. Anyone except them. If this person wanted you to have kids with them, you're going to have kids with somebody. With anyone except them. If you this person wanted you to live with them, you're going to live with somebody. But it's going to be anybody except them. However, this person thought they could control you or the situation or life itself because of their own selfish needs. I feel like this is the type of person that feels as if they know what's best for you rather than asking what makes you happy. And we see that a lot today. Unfortunately, instead of just asking a person, hey, is this really what you want? What do you actually seek out of this partnership? Do you actually see something long term with me? Y'all would rather be like, I'm just going to force it. And they're gonna like it and i'm gonna fuck them over while forcing this because in reality they rejected me and made me feel rejected so i'm going to go and act hurt but if they did the same things i'd shoot them so it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense all right 
but kind of acknowledging how this person is going to see you living your life and this person is mad that you're living your life so you could be going out whatever you do this person will have a negative association with it you go clubbing um you're being a slut they see you smoke out of a vape pod you're selling drugs and creating meth um you know this is kind of like a person who would make up a story about you rather than actually seeing the truth because like of everything you've done to reject them and they this is like the type of person to be like i'm such a great person that if they actually couldn't like me for who i am something's probably wrong with them it's actually you but you know whatever you need to tell yourself to lie and get through the end of the day and leave my ass alone you do it you do that shit for real all right yeah with the nine of swords being here i feel like somebody this person comes at you crazy like seriously this person thinks they can rush in and out of your life and cause like a storm whenever you and your person or whenever you start moving in life like this person has thoroughly sought out to destroy everything you created any accomplishment you have this person is going to make you regret that because it wasn't with them no seriously anything you do without this person this person will destroy it you move out to a new apartment this person will get you it's like you cannot live like this person is on a hunt like for treating you a certain type of way because of rejection whoever this person is really is an unhealthy level of rejection so just be aware of the way they come at you uh, uh, as a way they destroy the things around you too because i think you're being nonchalant about this because like look look how this person despite however they come at you but look where you're facing you're facing forward you're never facing this person this person could be a gemini libra aquarius in your life or a cancer pisces scorpio doing this to you but you're always facing forward you're always looking towards better things the rainbow the sun the weather your accomplishments and unfortunately this person has done everything they try to to really try to take it down in their life they see you getting a new car they'll crash into you they'll break your they'll break your windows they'll slash your tires they see you getting a new job they'll call your job and lie about it and then wonder why you're with them like this person's fucking batshit crazy nah i've never given a reading like this but this one's pretty accurate so you have the six of wands being here so once again this is like energy of facing away like, you know, despite however this person coming at you, you choose to be the higher level ground person. Because at the end of the day, how this person chooses to affect you, I think you're probably seeing them hurt themselves in the process. So, like, if this person has tried to take partners away from you, like, I think you could sense that like, this person feels used up, abandoned, and abused because they weren't the greatest of men. And it was just a trap. So, kind of acknowledging however they put themselves at risk is really not your choice to really give a fuck about or even have empathy for this person has done everything in their power to try to ruin your life or take stuff away and then try to make you rely on them but you didn't you always got back on your own two feet and this person their energy is like that of like boiling blood whenever they see you boiling blood if they probably described it to people like that whenever they look at you boiling blood is what i'm hearing but kind of acknowledging how with the six of wands being here, just like you choose to get out by yourself. And the people who have done it on their own too have a high level of respect for you. I don't know if some of y'all are in the industry or in your own community in terms of art, music, fashion. But there are people who have seen what you've gone through and they stand with you. Like these people talk well about you. These people admire you in a healthy way. But kind of acknowledging like you inspire people to keep going because that's what you've done. Like being like, you know how some people will be inspired by actresses who went to law, fake law school and go be lawyers? You inspire people that despite whatever circumstances have happened in their life or whatever people have communicated what they've communicated, that is not the end all be all. That is not your story. Your story is to get the fuck back up and really keep on going and really prove right. Because nobody else is you, baby. They can't replace you. You gotta remind them that. You are you. So definitely, with the Six of Wands being here, a lot of people that have struggled, like, internally or, like, within their own personal, like, issues, like, really respect you in terms of acknowledging that I've been there once before and I've seen how, like, this person's made it out or, like, all of that. So in reality, like, you know, just know you're really well admired 
whoever you are watching pile number two like you're not like pile number one you kind of have more envious like sought out people with no lives who then tend to have obsessive tendencies because in reality what else they got going on otherwise than that that brain of theirs and the mental illness that may derive from it um so kind of acknowledge that You have the fool. You took a chance. You took a chance. You decided to invest in something else and give new love to it. And because of that, it's really flourished. And this person is really hateful of you. Like you chose with the zero card being here and the X being the completed cycle. You chose to take a fresh new start with somebody in order to go ahead and develop a family or fall in love. And this person has always done everything in their power to prevent it. Just not ever wanting to see you happy. So you could be dealing with a sadist, low-key. But definitely what I'm seeing here is like, you found it. And you know what? I'm happy for you. In terms of acknowledging like, I've been in the same energy. So if you've had somebody try to make your life a living hell because of all who they try to be was actually you. Um, moving forward and looking away from a person like this. Focusing on yourself. And that energy into your love and relationship actually is what bloomed it. Like, you know, when Rico said, Rico Nasty said this lyric being like, you wonder why your life sucks is because you ain't focused. So in reality, you chose to grow your garden. And this person, anytime they don't see progress or don't have the patience for it, they just rip apart their garden and it makes them angry. Like this person could even attack their own partners is what I'm saying. Like physically attack their own partners when they don't get their way. <laughs> yeah with the knight of swords this person has been plotting to take the heavy gemini Libra Aquarius energy but and capricorn but definitely this person has tried everything they can to bring you down because of their unhappy ass misery loves company and if it means you're at the bottom with them it makes them not try to go ahead and compete with somebody in reality a bitch needs to be electrocuted not gonna lie but with the knight of swords being here yes this person was planning and plotting with evil intention and boiling blood to destroy everything you ever created everything everything you ever created for yourself it's just like if you're thinking like you can't find love it's actually a person it's actually a thing Yeah, I don't know why strength, like, we have the Leo cards coming out lately, but with strength being here, just, like, people are choosing to support you and not this person. Like, this person chose somebody else to support them or really tell a story or reveal a secret to get, like, um, to get, like, more in the sense of the people to admire them back again, but oh, the people only admired you. From these situations, the people only ever admired you not anybody else not even the person that people try to bring into these situations to go ahead and save face right so yeah their karma is going to be exposed for being the magician that and like look at that i like i definitely see like with here like in terms of like the lovers and with the magician being here how this person really try to affect your relationship or anything you try to create for yourself that was divinely meant for you by the way so this means like more so in the sense of acknowledging like if there is a relationship there for you this person's going to come in and cut that shit off with the knight of swords energy this person does not want you to experience any happiness whatsoever if it's not with the misery loves company for this one and um so yes yeah, so this person would plan on going ahead and destroying you or hurting you in some type of way yeah, whoever this was, they could have been in the spotlight before. They could have felt like they had all the attention, whether it's good or negative. But kind of acknowledging how they were on top before and now you're on top. And unfortunately here with Three of Swords, I definitely feel like this person's um, karma is being heartbroken over the fact that nothing they could ever do to you would actually ever affect you. Because you know the intention of where they come from. An insecure little girl. Just an insecure little girl crying out for dad in the weirdest ways through her partners.
So with the Hierophant being here, you have some higher level, um, this could be your professor, this could be school district, this could go ahead and involve somebody of a higher authority, but you have somebody that's coming in and going ahead and dealing with the situation for once and all. So definitely I feel like if you felt like an unfair just of the person trying to intervene with your life, you have some type of like higher educated person um, settling this or really maybe even putting them in their place. Yeah, death again. So definitely what I am seeing here is there's going to be a death in this situation in terms of acknowledgement of something has to be lost or grieved here in order for them to accept the fact of how they've caused you loss and grief. And that's what I'm saying. It's all about equal balance. So yes, an angel. So I definitely feel like another life was taken here or more so in the sense of a, like, so a life was lost. Um, this could have been them carrying a baby. They poss You possibly could have been dating somebody who they had an abortion with and that's why this person comes at you so hastily because this person is really an angry soul so instead of just acknowledging they need to heal from whatever that man did to them and not what you didn't do to them they are going to come at you because why it reminds me of that one line being like um it's like by baby sosa it's like everywhere i go like everywhere i go they all know my name so so can you hang but there's one line in particular being like, oh, you could push up on me, but you can't push up on that motherfucker. Like, more so in the sense of like, yeah, you could say all that shit to me, but in reality, did I do those things to you? No, your boyfriend did. So how about you and your mental illness get the fuck on out of here and go to a therapist? For real. Yeah, pushing up on me because you can't push up on him. Isn't that crazy? And he puts his hands on you. Isn't that crazy? Holy shit. Motherfuckers will put hands on you and you'll be attacking women that didn't do anything to you. I hope some of y'all rot in hell. Rot in hell. Yeah, with Seven of Swords being here, this person was like, this person could be like playing the good girl act or the good guy act. And in reality, this person is the most devious motherfucker's fake on this goddamn planet. So let's just go ahead and get Zodiacs at this point because it just seems like you have somebody who's being exposed for hating on you to that extent so it's a leo woman so you do have a leo coming out that really wanted to do this to you because they hated the fact that you moved on in your life without them they could have even evolved a capricorn woman or a capricorn man to do this to you so all i gotta say is and as much as i am fucked up like this right don't you have a dick to suck don't you have i'm like shit to do don't you have a dick to suck yeah yeah go suck a dick hey before you talk shit go suck a dick before you do that go suck a dick and leave us the fuck alone also if i had to talk to men these days that'd be like i owed money and y'all sound like y'all suck a dick for a 20 don't talk to me do not talk to me i'm tired of talking to fucking grown-ass people being like I used so many. Why do you sound like you did sexual favors for that shit? Like, shut the fuck up. Like, if you a down badass hoe because you didn't know any better for yourself, stay a hoe. Stay a hoe. I don't know what to tell you. Stay, hey, stay loyal to your streets because they be knowing you. They be telling me. <laughs> they be telling me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, for real? We all knew that one. We all knew that. <laughs> You're like, you know, you don't know what's gotta be the worst Hellcat story? Y'all ever hear about a bitch that don't even live on that block? Y'all ever hear about You'll be like, how do you how do you get this far? You're like Like was your neighborhood just not enough? Like were they just like, hey, stop with this shit? And then you're like <laughs> Oh fuck. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, whoever this person was, they definitely were once in the spotlight. This could be heavy Aquarius to you, but they were planning to go ahead and take away whatever you completed for yourself because they thought they could fit in your little shoes. Knowing damn well, size nine can't fit in a size eight. Oh yeah, they forgot about that shit. They forgot about that shit. Yeah, all because you were beautiful. You had your foundation to yourself and you were stable on your own. And people that did not do that for themselves in this entirety of lives and wasted it now have to attach themselves to, like, you to, like, a fucking parasite. So your good karma is you will be getting back everything that they took. 
but kind of acknowledging like you have to deal with the emotional damage like keep moving forward don't ever let people tell you like oh well you went to dinner even though i did that to you what do you want me to do bitch star you went to the club after you got in an argument what do you want me to do cry like i gotta i gotta keep making moves y'all i'm not gonna go ahead and be like oh you know what they really did get me like that i'm gonna just i'm gonna just sit here and cry and give them the validation and reaction that they want bitch I'm gonna go to that club, have a man buy me a fucking sex on the beach, and be enjoying my time. Maybe even listen to Pitbull. Maybe even listen to Pitbull. But y'all ain't gonna convince me to go ahead and give a shit about other people that didn't do shit for themselves. Because who they're gonna come to? The people that actually had foundations. You, me, and these other bad bitches. But yeah, this person is gonna continuously lie their ass off, even claim that they're your friend or they have good intentions for you. This person is the fucking devil in disguise. So in reality, if this person messaged any of your family members or people that you're close to, people are gonna start seeing this shit. Their karma is literally like, yeah, a Capricorn woman. So whatever you're calling out truthfully, people are gonna start seeing it. Shout out to me getting stopped by a Capricorn woman yesterday. Um, I told my friend Justin about that. And then he was like more some sense of like, my bad. But I was just like, bro, you bitches are fucking ill. Like, I'm not even joking at this point. Fucking ill. Who else is this person? So we have Sean Capricorn once again. And who else? And we have the Leo. And we have Cancer and Aries, so whatever that resonates for you. And an Aquarius woman, for some reason. Alright, let's go ahead and get your four Oracle cards from the Rebel deck, and then we're moving on to the main Oracle deck. Your good karma is just getting back everything and realizing that no matter what these people try to do to you, you're going to get it. You're always going to get it. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. So despite whatever these people try to make you feel or um, acknowledge about yourself that wasn't true, it's just like, you need to let things that don't apply to you go in this situation. You are giving way too many fucks. You need to give fucking zero. And you remember with the full energy? Hold up, let me find those cards. There it is. But it's kind of like with the Fool with the Ten of Cups. Like, the Fool is represented by the number zero, and the Ten is the completion of a cycle. So it's kind of like acknowledging by you not giving a fuck and focusing on your own life, like you wonder why your life sucks, is because you ain't fucking focused. It's because you chose to water your own garden, and these people can't fathom even putting the patience into doing something for themselves to that extent and seeing what is achievable. You are dealing with fucking losers. Loser ass bitches, bitch. I don't know what to tell you. Alright. Anything else additional for their karma? Despite being known for trying to take everything that you fucking- It's like Sharpay, Troy, and Gabriella. What pisses me off about Ashley Tisdale in terms of her as a person is being like, Sharpay was actually always- Dude, we did not see the same movie. They must have so sharp pay some off script shit, like the the rough draft, and they're just like, yeah, we Sharpay is such a great character, and then they showed all of us the true character of Sharpay, and then they all showed us like on some real shit. What else is their karma? But it's kind of like you focusing on yourself and you moving forward in your life is like that of your good karma. Like you are going to obtain everything because you're not feeding into that evil entity of a person. It is just like you moving forward. So yeah, two of cups and you still have the nine of pentacles. You are deserving of everything that is going to be given to you with equal give and take. So your good karma, once again, I'm sorry you're not seeing any evil ass cards, um, is in, in terms of them being exposed, yes, and being known as a liar because Seven of Swords is all about being caught in the end. But with Two of Cups, I definitely feel like your good karma is having, having what is unattainable to a majority of dumb, ugly bitches. Meaning you are going to get that guy. You're going to get that girl. And it's because in reality, you deserve it. And not by force, it's by natural connection, all right?
anything else if i can clarify anything negative what is the negative karma of this um capricorn and leo general energy that tried to hurt them queen of wands standing in your fucking power i don't like i'm sorry you're not gonna get any negative cards so that's what i'm saying like certain people like when i read specific people like i'm not gonna lie i shut the fuck up i'm just like hey all right um yeah this is what i got from your reading <laughs> like i'm not joking but yeah you're just gonna stay in your power and you are the shit don't forget it so kind of acknowledging that sometimes you are the person you need and you're the person you're looking for in that moment and you don't need to fill in that void temporarily out of the sake of your own selfish needs there's like a card wanting to come out just whatever. there you go stop texting stop stalking and stop checking on that fucking person just fucking stop spend your time on someone worth it and don't waste it on ridiculousness so meaning like if you were hyper focused on what this person was trying to do to you start focusing on yourself give that attention back to your future pro like projects in terms of being like wow i need to focus on that why i need to do that oh i love like be in the moment of your life rather than what this person is trying to make you focus on oof you think someone is lying and they are fuck shit is about to get real fuck you need your people around you yeah you are going through some rough shit everyone has their turn and welcome to yours gather your tired ass up and handle it and then let's get you one oracle card and then we're gonna head on out this reading what is their karma or more in the sense of the oracle message you have for pile number two protection call back your powers call cut the cords and do a soul retrieval so most definitely this person has used other people to go against you or to really physically hurt you in some type of way but it never worked however this person tried to hurt you or try to like affect your life never worked because you love yourself and you actually live your own life star mother how can you mother yourself so yeah you choose to heal yourself that's what this person can acknowledge sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess and a mystic teacher so this person simply is jealous of you because they can't be you this person has this person like probably had in their mind this person's gonna have a switch of mindset this person's gonna come to the realization that they've always been trying to be you like they used to put it on the image of everyone you trying to be them but they're gonna come to the acknowledgement of this person was always trying to be you like you could have gotten into education like whoever you date this person dates after whoever whenever you started to get a job let's just say for an example of education this person decided to be an educator too wanting to go towards exactly that this person has mimetic desire um uh, mimetic desire is really defined by that of the principles of what another person has in terms of whether that be superficial like a car a handbag glasses um a significant other by you obtaining the model that you see in front of you you believe that you will naturally attract the opportunities the love and the admiration that this person has because you see that so in reality whoever this is um they're gonna wake up to that this person's gonna wake up that they are actually a copycat because they believe by trying to be you trying to act like you trying to have the same things as you is really them being them but it's them watching you and then being you yeah you need to break this chain ancestral patterns healing and rewriting the future whoever this was that tried to hurt you or try to like literally rewrite your fucking future you're taking it back in your hands this person cannot hurt you any more than they thought they could and this person lost it yeah a strong leo man or a woman and what else and a pisces yeah this could have even been with the libra woman as well 
So that's all I'm getting for you today. I really do hope you heal from the situation and find peace. Honestly, my lactose ass stomach is screaming at me for all the cheese I've eaten in the past three hours. So in reality, y'all, I'm gonna go take care of that. Y'all go mind your business. And in reality, if that really resonated for you, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment and do what's best for yourself at the end of the day. It's not gonna be the best of what you do for another person and then realize, wow, I did all that for them and I, yeah, stop doing that. Stop doing that do something for yourself instead and see where that gets you see where that fucking gets you all right so have a good one